creating new content in a blank or blackboard shell. You first have to find the plus sign. The small plus sign is not revealed until the small arrow on the left hand side near the course name is selected. Be sure to click on the chevron. Be sure the chevron is pointing downward to reveal the menu items that might be in the course. In a blank shell, there are no menu items. You have to create them. To add items to the course menu, select the small arrow to reveal the plus sign. Mouse over the plus sign at the top of the menu bar to add items to the course menu. As you mouse over the plus sign, you can select which type of page to add to your course menu. If it's a content area, page, or modular page, select the type of page to add, name the item, make it available to users or not, and select Submit. Develop the toolbar by adding menu items. You can create a content page, select Build Content to add files to your page, or select Assessments to add tests and assignments to your page on the content page you've built. You can also add a modular page to create a home page for your course. Add modules to the page. At the top left corner of that page, you'll see the word Add Modules. You can make the home page the entry point for the course by selecting Customization, Teaching Style, then select number two as the entry point and select from the choice of pages from the drop down menu. You can also create tool links, such as mail or messages, announcements, and discussions. Putting two links into the menu gives a specific place in the menu for students to click on for certain items you want them to have access to. You can also create course links to specific items such as a syllabus or folders. Questions? Let's take a look at the actual Blackboard environment. This is the blank course in Blackboard. You'll need to open that menu. And when you open the menu, the small plus sign is revealed. Once again, when you close the menu, it's hidden. When you open the menu, the plus sign is revealed. You select a content area page and give it a name. We'll give this one course content for the name of a page we're going to create. We'll make it available to users, very important, and click Submit. If I select the content link I've just created, I can select Build Content or Assessments to add tests or assignments under Assessment, which will create a column in the Grade Center. Or you can select just plain to add a file, for instance. We'll call this Course Item Number 1. I can browse my computer and add ideally a PDF I'll say no I'll leave it in the same window and always permit viewers to view this content if you want them to see it and also track number of views and hit submit all I've done is add content and added a file and now we have the item ready to go which is the PDF of the PowerPoint we just looked at. Also again on top we can add a modular page. Call it a home page. Make it available to users and hit submit. As I select home page, I can add a course module to this home page. And I can add items that are going to be useful to my students. 
my announcements, perhaps the course messages. Scroll all the way down, I can show all the items and add. Now it's the home page of the course. I want to make sure the home page is designated by when I select the home button on top. I can select customization down to teaching style. Go and select under number two the course content. Which page do I want to make the home page for the course? I select the word home page and hit submit. Now when I select the home button on top it's the entry point for the course. I can also add a tool link such as email, drop the menu down as to which tool do I want to link this to. Select the word email, make it available to users, and click Submit. I can also add a course link, browse for which item do I want to specifically show to students. Let's say I wanted to call it course item number one, which was the PDF and PowerPoint of this document. Hit submit, and now when I select the course item, it opens right up to the course item that I've selected. It could have been a syllabus. And that is how you add content to a blank blackboard shell by selecting the plus sign on top and adding a content area page, a modular page calling it the home page, a to link, and a course link. For more questions, please contact Mike Pelletera at irsc.edu. Thank you.